Well, it's interesting. What we're going to uh, be uh, launching now here in the Cayman Islands, we're going to do a combination of cells. We, we are dealing with some very special cells. One cell that we're dealing with is something called a V-cell, a very small embryonic-like stem cell. This is one of the most potent cells in your body. Now, typically, these cells are asleep. They're not awake. We have the technology to now awaken them and to make them do all sorts of good things in your body. These cells are very important for anti-aging. We think that they're important for autoimmune diseases. And the uh, list can go on and on. Anecdotally, we've seen good results with uh, osteoporosis. We've seen good results in people who have macular degeneration and very good results in two other things, people with pulmonary problems and people who have an autoimmune disease. I have one fellow who actually works for me. He was on a medication called Umera, which has many different side effects. He's been off Umera now for two years after he received the B-cell treatments. So we're very high in those cells and there's only a handful of clinics in the United States and in the world that are doing them and we have the technology and we've been doing them for a while so this is not a no, new cell to us by any means. Now another cell that I'm very interested about and I used to do it many years ago and then it became somewhat of a risk to do it in the United States because now people say what fat? Well fat is a very very rich source of stem cells, one of the richest sources in the body and it has one particular type of stem cell that we're very interested in. It's called the mesenchymal cell. Now mesenchymal cells I liken them to Navy SEALs. They're like Navy SEALs. They're very specialized. They can be put into a hostile area. They may not survive, but they can get that area squared away so other cells can go and do their job. Now, when you start giving millions and billions of these cells intravenously, you have something special. And when you start combining them with B cells, you have something very special that I, essentially no one else really has the technology of. Now, more importantly, what we're doing is we, we know that fat, sometimes if you have an obese person, it may not be the best of stem cells in there. We have a technology, and I work with the world's expert on growth factors, to put some growth factors in that fat and sort of change the profile of the cells so they'll now be very much what we call anti-inflammatory. They'll get rid of many of the body's afflictions. And so we're very excited about this. And this will be the only place in the world that that can be done this clinic here. I don't do it in the United States. I only will do it in this clinic here. Well, the demographic is somebody who necessarily has a problem, but not always, okay? I myself, as far as I know, I have no big problems, a little you know, problem here and there, maybe a little arthritis, but I do the V-cells two or three times a year just for good anti-aging and good general health. Now, I haven't done any intravenous stem cells on myself as far as fat is concerned in, in a few years. Uh, but I think I'm going to probably start doing that again because I think each one has its benefits, okay? Now the other thing we must realize also is the V-cells can go and possibly penetrate what we call the blood-brain barrier. Now we have some protocols that we're working on to help people with traumatic brain injuries. We're going to be instituting some very special growth factors that we can deliver easily to the brain without any real danger and at the same time we'll use the V-cells and then the, the other cells, the fat cells, which many times people say they get stuck in the lungs. Well, maybe they do, but they still release their growth factors. And the growth factors are what can do a lot of good things. And we think we might have something special for traumatic brain injuries. A question that people bring up once in a while is, why would I do one cell or why would I do the other? And, and it's, it's hard to sometimes give some real guidance in it, but I can tell you, for instance, SVF, there's studies all over the world on how that works and how it works very well. One of my good friends who's uh, been working with these type of cells for years, the SVF, and also the V cells is Dr. Pasqualaris from Australia. He's actually made some significant reversals of diabetes using the fat stem cells. Diabetes, we know, is pretty much an autoimmune disease. A lot of the diseases we're dealing with nowadays are autoimmune. And we know that these fat cells, when they release their growth factors, they really get the inflammation in the body down. And it's a game of inflammation. If you reduce inflammation, you reduce diseases. So I would say for uh, the best thing to do is probably use both of them. Cover all your bets. Now, if you had a choice of one or the other, it depends. Uh, certain things for overall well-being, I'd go with the V cells. For probably autoimmune diseases, I'd maybe stick with the SVF. But if you ask me to hedge my bets, I'm going to say use both.